Hey guys, this video is for simple, healthy, and delicious meals, dinners, or lunches. They are hilariously easy and mind blowing. Basically, one pot. So, let's get started. This first recipe is probably the most simple one. To a plate or bowl, you're just going to add some greens like spinach, then some whole wheat pasta and a big tablespoon of your favorite hummus. This one was a sweet potato hummus, followed by lemon juice and nutritional yeast, some smoked paprika. Now mixing that all up using two forks. Then for some more nutritiousness on the side, as always, I love having some red pepper. Slice it up and add this to your pasta bowl. Maybe add some cashews or nuts of your choice, vegan cheese, and that is basically it. So yummy and simple, everything mixed in one bowl. For recipe number two, you are first going to chop up some onion and mince some garlic roughly. Use just a little bit of ginger, since this recipe is kind of Thai inspired, Thai themed. Grate one carrot and snack the middle part, which is so sweet. <laughs> Then chop up some more veggies that you might have lying around in the fridge or freezer. I defrosted some of those. This was a mix of red pepper, eggplant and zucchini, I believe. To a frying pan you are first going to add some oil. I used peanut oil because this matched my expectations of this dish. Start out by sautéing the onion and garlic for around 5 to 7 minutes. Adding in a splash of water. Give that all a good stir. And add the following. Your carrot, mixed veggies, fresh veggies. Stir that all around. Press it down a little bit and now add some whole wheat pasta or any pasta that you like. I always use whole wheat or lentil pasta is really nice. Add around 4 cups of water. Try to give this another stir so that everything is kind of covered with water. And then add on a lid. Let this simmer for around 15 minutes on medium heat, stirring it around every once in a while. It will look a little bit like um, noodle soup and remind you of Kung Fu Panda. But yeah, after your pasta is cooked, add a pinch of salt, your ginger and one teaspoon of paprika powder. Two tablespoons of tomato paste, a bit of soy sauce and one big tablespoon of peanut butter. This is so good, creamy, thick and delicious. As you can tell, the peanut butter and tomato paste thickened everything up and it will be all gorgeous and delicious. So, so good. If it helps and you feel like there is still too much water remaining, just let everything steam for a while or add more peanut butter or tomato paste. This serves a couple of people. If you have a couple of people um, living with you at home, I don't, so it served me for a couple of portions, which was nice. And don't forget to crush this with some peanuts. Recipe number three was already approved taste test approved multiple times by me because it's so good. First and foremost, use your favorite red pepper spiced marinara sauce. Big shout out to Aldi. 
Secondly, gather some sweet potatoes I used for. And you will also need a larger oven proof dish. To make this easier on yourself and everything in one pot, basically use a big frying pan. Bake your sweet potatoes in the oven for around 30 minutes depending on size. Chop up some onion and garlic. Adding garlic and onion to the frying pan as well as a smaller carrot. Fry that all up using some oil or water for around 10 minutes, adding the carrot in at the end. After 10 minutes you'll also add in the marinara sauce and one to one and a half cups of red lentils. Mix in some more water if needed, give that all a good stir around and just let it simmer for around 10 minutes so that the lentils have absorbed some of the liquid but still not being completely cooked as we are going to bake all of this later. Throw in some spinach and give that a stir until it starts wilting down a little bit. You can determine the flavor profile based of how much tomato paste or spices you add. But I went for 2 tablespoons of tomato paste, 2 tablespoons of ketchup, some salt and a bit of soy sauce. If you don't have ketchup available to you, feel free to add in some apple cider vinegar or lemon juice. Remove everything from the heat and add in a quarter of a cup of nutritional yeast. Mix that all up until it has absorbed most of the liquid. Place your pre-baked sweet potatoes on the mix and now bake this in the oven. And the, yeah, that was the part where I decided to add some frozen cauliflower on top. You can go for broccoli, any anything that you would like to. Once it comes out of the oven, let that cool down for around 10 minutes, just a little bit before you dig in. I promise you that is so delicious. There's so much variety within this dish. You can add more pepper, black pepper, any, any spices that you like. It's going to hold its shape as the lentils will absorb the rest of the liquid. Yeah, there you have yourself a one pot dish. This last recipe of mine is my absolute favorite thing to have. Not just baked beans, but I'm gonna show you how you can get all of the flavor out of this can. To make the mixing part easier on yourself, place everything into a bigger bowl. Add on one to two tablespoons of tomato paste, one teaspoon of salt, some garlic powder, black pepper, Italian spices, like basil and oregano, a couple of tablespoons of water and give that all a good stir around. The reason I'm making this is to make the baked beans taste more natural and packed with flavors and um, less sweet. <laughs> I, I don't like it too sweet, at least not in the beans. To my perfectly burnt toast, I then love adding some avocado like a lot added on more later but filming wise I left it with a couple of slices. Cracking on some more black pepper. Love having this with nuts or nut butter tahini on top of my avocado toast. And yeah that's basically how you can pimp up your beans 
you get more out of that mix and so much, so much more flavor, guys. If you can invest in some Italian spices, it will be so much better. You will appreciate your dishes so much more. And now you can enjoy all of the recipes. Feel free to recreate these dishes, plus tagging me on Instagram if you like. Hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any further videos. And if you tried any of these recipes or you have any suggestions, let me know about it in the comments. Um, bye guys! Look at you, eyes as soft as that ocean blue Falling in, learn to swim like I never knew I see it now, 